in the second and the sixth bar of, of the blues and uh, it sounds really different when you use these uh, uh, these uh, triadic licks I think I learned about it or I, I got inspired to make these this licks that I present this time uh, by listening to Larry Carlson if you know him he's a great uh, blues fusion a guitarist and uh, the other licks are also great the first one is a uh, I take notes from the, uh, we are in the key of A and I, I take notes from the A major pentatonic scale uh, and uh, the, uh, the end licks are also uh, good, good I think because you can really hear how I play all the chords so that, there are many good thing, licks in, in this uh, small lesson. Uh, about A little more about the triads, they have to be practiced a little bit because they don't fall naturally the first and the second time that you play them. So maybe after 150 times where you take it down in tempo, it, it gets a lot easier. So the, the, the whole thing is that you have to take it down in, in tempo. So. so you take it down to a tempo where you can play it and, uh, and then eventually you can use it in, in, in your solos. Okay, let's take a close look at these uh, triadic licks. I start with the lick that comes before and also after. So basically I just show you the whole uh, 12 bar turnaround so you know what comes before and after these licks. And it starts with a really great lick that comes from the major pentatonic scale and you can use that both on the 1 and the 4 chord. It goes like this, 1 and 2 and 3. <laughs> And we start that in the fifth fret, take it down in tempo here. It's not easy 
uh, these uh, I think they should be practiced a little bit so it's, it's a little challenging this time. I basically use up and down strokes here so just in the first one there's some there's a pull up and a ham on end on, on, on an up stroke downstroke and the last one should end on uh, start with a upstroke again and that comes again uh, it comes twice so in that respect it's it's easy and then the last uh, line of the blues is, it sounds really great. That's notes. It starts with an E uh, arpeggio, and, and then it takes some notes from the uh, E mixolydian scale. Down in the seventh fret, slide from uh, the fifth to the sixth. To the D and play the same thing down there. You try to play uh, the whole thing uh, really slow. <laughs> 